Driving can be a bit. <laughs> yes, I still haven't driven a car. Mm. Too, fr too afraid. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. <gasps> the bathrooms. Um, the smell is different. <laughs> Difficult question. What do I not like? Or, Nihao everyone, it's me, Brittany, aka Bulani Yao Zan Yang. Jagali Bai, Wolai Taiwan, Shinian. So, I Wohan Hao Chi, Bieda Wai Goran Jada, Taiwan, Zamaya, Run Ho, Zui Jing, Wozai, Kan Ding, Wokan Dao Han Duo, Rai Goran. So, I Wosan Yao Wen Taman. Okay, hi, nice to meet you. Where do you come from? From the Netherlands. Wow! <laughs> so far. How long have you been in Taiwan? And now two weeks. Two weeks? Yes. Wow. <laughs> we really love it. I love it. Yeah. Uh, can you tell me why you chose to come to Tanjing? Um, my sister used to live in Taipei and she loves Taiwan so she said to us you should come to Taiwan and spend time here and uh, yeah. Now, what is one thing that you love about Taiwan? The food is amazing and the people and the nature is beautiful. Uh, sometimes it's challenging to talk English with the locals. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> or to understand the menu. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I've been here for 10 years and same. Even I take Chinese lessons, same. Very yeah. difficult. Okay, hi, what's your name? Hi, my name is Semirai. Hi, Semirai. 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 Yes. Piaolian. So beautiful. Beautiful Thank in you. Chinese. Yes. How long have you been in Taiwan? Uh, I think already one year. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So you just arrived. Yeah, you can say that. That's great. Why did you decide to come to Canteen? Um, I've read a travel blog actually and I was looking what to, what to do in Taiwan itself and what is the logical route with cities and uh, Canteen was like the south of it that made me uh, come to here actually. Yeah, that's perfect. I love you. did your research before you came. Yeah, of course. Now, you've been in Taiwan for one week. Yes. What is your favorite thing so far? People are very friendly. I wasn't expecting that actually, but they are really nice. And it has a beautiful nature. Now, I heard what you like about Taiwan. What is one thing that you either dislike or has just been difficult to kind of make that cultural transition? Uh, the food. Okay. Yeah. I don't eat pork. Okay. And it's, I think like 80% pork yes. based. So it's really difficult for me and also, everything is in Chinese, so I can't read it. Yeah. Communication is also a little bit hard, so yeah, it's, it's looking, searching for I, I completely understand. I've been in Taiwan now for 10 years. I take Chinese lessons. My husband is Taiwanese, and I still, for me, I cannot read Chinese. Even I try to, to practice and speak sometimes. Huh? I don't understand what you say, so I completely understand. Difficult, yeah. yeah. My, name. My name is Joe. Joe, yes. nice to meet you. Where do you nice come from? From France. France! Oh, that's yes. wonderful. How long have you been in Taiwan? For um, almost three weeks. Oh, that's wonderful. Why did you come to Taiwan? Uh, because I do a trip in Eastern Asia. So I start by South Korea, then Japan, and I would like just to extend my trip there. So I chose Taiwan because it's a small country. Oh. Nobody knows in France. So. Okay, so you've been to many other countries in yeah. Southeast Asia. How do you feel Taiwan is different or special? Uh, it's different uh, because uh, it's more chill than in South Korea or Japan, for example. People are more relaxed and um, the smell is different and uh, it's a small country so you can just manage yourself for one month is okay. So what is something you really like about Taiwan? Uh, I love street food. Compared, really? Yeah, yeah. I love the, the fact that you can go just on the street and eat everything you want. And um, it's a cheap country and people are very kind. Maybe more warm than people in South Korea or Japan. I love South Korea and Japan, but people are different. I agree. Yeah. You know, Taiwan's slogan is Taiwan touch your heart because yeah. the people are touching your heart, yeah, right? Yeah yeah. Yeah, 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 I agree, yes, totally. Now, one thing that you maybe not necessarily dislike, but yeah. something that you feel has been more challenging to get to know or get used to? 
Um, how to manage about the public transport? For now, it's more or less about uh, using trains, but I would like to use buses or different types of uh, public transport, but it's it's okay. Have you driven a scooter? Yes, I did. Ah, in Pengu. How was it? Oh, Pengu! Yeah, That's yeah. such a good place to go! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. I did it. Yeah, this was nice. It was fun, right? Very yeah. freeing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But and it's, the, it's the place to use uh, a scooter. Yes, I agree. Yeah. yeah. Hi, what is your name? Uh, I'm <laughs> Nancy? Yeah, nice. nice to meet you. Where do you come from? Uh, I'm from Japan. Japan! <laughs> ah, so beautiful. Oh, thank you. How long do you come to Taiwan? Uh, two days. Two days! Wow! What do you think about Taiwan? Taiwan is very hot and beautiful. Yeah! yeah. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. I think so. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, do you think Taiwanese boy is handsome? Shui. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. Muscle or, yeah. or skinny? I like, I like muscle. Muscle? muscle. Me too. Yeah. Hi, what's your name and where do you come from? My name is Kayla. I'm from America. Wonderful. And how long have you been in Taiwan? Uh, I've been in Taiwan four years now. Four years? Four years. <laughs> now, what do you think is the best part of being in Taiwan? Especially maybe that's different from your home country. Mmm. Uh, one thing that I love about Taiwan is it's very easy to get to the mountains and the ocean. And sometimes they're both together. And I'm from the middle of America, so I cannot get to either like very easily. <laughs> oh my gosh, absolutely. And we can take the HSR, you can take your yes, scooter. Yes, traveling so easy. Yes! Mm -hmm. Now, what's something that you don't really like? Or that's just different. Quaddy patties. <gasps> the bathrooms. Yes. And not having soap. <laughs> yes. Or toilet paper. Yes. It's the worst. When I came, people said, you need to carry your own toilet paper. Yes. And I was like, what? Mm -hmm. Yes. And if you forget it, like, oh, you have to be creative. Yes. <laughs> Hi. What's your name and where do you come from? My name is Lindsay and I am from America, Chicago, oh, Illinois. Oh, go Bulls. Yes. Very good. Tell me, how long have you been in Taiwan? I've been here about a year and a half. Oh my goodness! Yes. Now can you tell me one thing that you love about Taiwan that's different from your home country? I love how everyone is so kind here and welcoming and I also love how safe it is too. Anywhere in the country I've gone, everyone is just very, very kind and it's very safe so I love it. Now tell me something that when you first came to Taiwan or even later on that really surprised you because it's different. Uh, different in a bad way. Um, I would probably say maybe the different in a bad way, maybe the the bugs, the cockroaches. Yes! There's way more than I ever expected. So that's definitely something that I haven't really loved. Um just the lots of live creatures all over the place. And the cockroaches aren't uh, like the ones in Chicago. Right, right. Very different. They're much, much, much bigger. Yes. Yes, yeah. Hey, what's your name and where do you come from? My name is Justine. I come from South Africa. I'm Lindsay. I come from the U.S. Wonderful. Can you tell me how long you've been in Taiwan? I've been here for five years. Five years. Oh, maybe I'm here six years. <laughs> and you? Five years. Five years. Okay, so you've been here for quite some time. Now, can you tell me one thing that you love about Taiwan or really like in a good way? I like the convenience and how late everything is open. So if you want tea or a snack late at night, it's really easy to get it. Definitely. I, I'm from the Midwest and things close pretty early. Um, I feel like it's very safe. And I also was surprised that people are very like welcoming and relaxed and laid back. It's a very like comfortable place. Yeah, absolutely. The safety is so important. And that's probably another reason you've been here for Six years? Mm. Five years? Mm. Six years? Yeah. yeah, yeah, many years. If it wasn't safe, you probably wouldn't stay. How long have you been here? Ah, uh, actually, this week, ten years. Mm. Oh, wow. my my Taiwan birthday. To celebrate. Wow. One thing that surprised you in not a good way, <laughs> or kind of a neg a negative. Negative about Taiwan. Uh, it's good oh. that you have to think for a long yeah, time. Maybe sometimes it's harder to get certain ingredients or things that you might want as a Westerner. I know even back home, oat milk, coconut milk, like years before we even got it in Taiwan. Yeah. So I, I, I understand your pain with that one. Lindsay, what do you think? 
Driving can be a bit. <laughs> yes, I still haven't driven a car. Mm -hmm. Too fr too afraid. Mm -hmm. What about driving specifically? Mm -hmm. I don't like to say bad things about Taiwan. <laughs> I'm just gonna okay. leave it at that. I'll, I'll say something. Uh, people don't always follow the rules. <laughs> yes, definitely. Yeah. Lots of lots of traffic. A lot of different kinds of vehicles. Scooters, motorcycles, cars, bikes, walkers, skateboarders. All right. But I have noticed that people are stopping more for pedestrians and crosswalks. I, I, sure I have I noticed that. I think they changed the rule. They did. They did. Okay. <laughs> they made the penalty stiffer or something like that. Okay. okay. No one wants the penalty. Yeah. No. Mm. All right, girls. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. you can see every foreigner that comes to Taiwan, no matter how long they've been here or which country they're from, they all have wonderful things to say about this beautiful place, Taiwan. Now, I had so much fun interviewing different foreigners, so let me know in the comments, what questions would you like to ask a foreigner about Taiwan or about Taiwanese culture? Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Bye-bye.